real quick, um, this was an interesting fact that I just found out. Um, so I'm reading reading it in the book of Jasher. And it's, uh, what is it? What chapter was it? It was uh, chapter 18. So chapter 18 in the book of Jasher talks about the same um, scenario that Genesis 22 talks about. Um, and if you're not familiar with it, it talks about um, how the Most High told Abraham to sacrifice his son. <laughs> so Abraham takes his son up to the mountain and pretty much just follows the Most High's command and gets ready to kill his son. And at the last minute, he stopped. Um, interesting fact, when you read the same story in the book of Jash, uh no, not Jasher, I'm sorry, the book of Jubilees. I apologize, Book of Jubilees. When you read the story in the Book of Jubilees, it's kind of similar to the Book of Job. So what the Bible doesn't go into is that the devil came before the Most High. And he said to him, and I had to do some research to try to figure out who this was. Because not only is he mentioned as the Prince of Mastema in the Book of Jubilees, he's also mentioned as Mastema or the Prince of Mastema in the book of Enoch and I was trying to do some research like I had a hunch that it was the devil but I, I wasn't 100% sure but doing a little bit of research and some more context clues yes I 100% believe that the Prince of Mastema or whenever you see that name you um, understand it as the devil and it says And then it, and it came to pass in the seventh week, in the first year thereof, in the first month in the Jubilee, on the twelfth of this month, there was voices in heaven regarding Abraham, and he was faithful in all he told, in all that he told him, and that he loved the Most High, and that in every affliction he was faithful. And the prince of Mastema came and said before the Most High, Behold, Abraham loveth Isaac his son, and he delighted in him above all things, above all else. Bid him to offer him as a burnt offering on the altar and thou will see if he will do this command and thou will know if he is faithful in everything wherein thou dost try him and the most high knew that abraham was faithful in all his afflictions for he had tried him through his country and his fam and with famine and he tried him with the wealth of kings and he had tried him again with his wife and when she was torn from him and with circumcision and had tried him through ishmael and hagar his maid servant when he sent them away and in everything wherein he had tried him he found, he was found faithful and his soul was not impatient and he was slow to act for he was faithful and a lover of the most high so the whole story goes and the most high basically stops him from uh stops him from killing isaac and at the end of it, it says, The prince of Mastema was put to shame, and Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a single ram caught by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering instead of his son. The Bible doesn't speak about that. So it was just an interesting fact I wanted to share with you guys as a little history behind the history that we know. But shalom.